uh, hi everyone and welcome back so this is the last video of authentication uh, strategy using password jwt uh, user login and register so we will do the complete demo first we will see what all step by step we have done okay so what we have is we want our user to register then login and then we have the test apis so that a logged in user only can access that test api okay so first of all if you remember we wrote user service a simple user service which is having some get user by email get user by id and then create method which is nothing but saving a user right and these methods are being called from the user controller user controller there is a simple uh, register method i mean there is a register endpoint on the authentication we are getting the payload and we are creating a simple user right then we wrote an authentication service that we wanted to isolate the authentication from the user service user service will mainly deals with the basic database operations authentication service will do the login generate token verify the password and all we are using bcrypt here so here like get auth user you will have the email and based on that you will verify the password using verify password method if all good then you will return a user from this okay this is the register we are using this register method once user is coming in then we are creating the hash password and we are registering a user with the hash password and then we are returning the created user and from the controller you can see the controller is using this authentication service authentication service dot register here user is getting registered and then this get auth user where get auth user and get user token is being used by passport local strategy so these are the two services that is a step one step two is we introduce the passport for authentication okay so we created these three files first of all so we have the uh, we have this local strategy dot ts okay it is extending the passport strategy and having the validate method this validate method should return as the user object same user object will be available in the controller so validate it is calling auth service dot get auth user authentication service and here is our controller now after this we wrote the controller controller is using this passport auth guard okay this is the particular auth guard so when, if you are adding this guard and you are sending the login request then passport local strategy will come into the picture they will first make sure that user is valid based on the email and password and will add user in the request payload this is what it is doing and once we have the user object in the request means user is valid email is correct password is correct we got the user object create a token so we are using get user token so till now this is a step two first is a creating base service then adding the password third step is adding a jwt module in the nest js so that we are doing here in the domain module we introduce a jwt module using async initialization we are passing the jwt secret something like this you can get all these things from the config service from the process.env. Uh, jwt secret or something i'm hard coding this for now this is a jwt introduction now we have jwt module now our authentication service can use jwt service which we have injected in the constructor this is jwt service dot sign i mean we are actually creating the jwt token based on the user id so get user token this we are calling from the controller this controller is saying okay you are logged in i have the user object using password okay let's give me the token based on user id and i will return that token with the user object till now everything is fine you logged in you registered you logged in you got the token now when your request is coming in with the token how can we validate the token that can be easily done by jwt strategy so you see this authentication folder is important here we are adding a jwt strategy this is same as the passport it has this validate method and here jwt from request here this can be i mean you might be extracting the jwt token from the cookies from session from so here we are extracting it from the authorization bearer token so there should be a authorization header which has the bearer space token so it will extract the token for us and it will actually call the the validation method internally and it will give us the decoded payload 
and that payload will have user id because while doing doing the jwt dot sign we are passing the user id in the payload so we got the user id and here we will just validate the user id using this user service dot get get by id that's it i mean if from the user service will validate okay this id is representing a particular user in our system if yes we are good this is jwt strategy now we created a jwt guard specifically this guard will help us a lot in all different things so there are two options either you create a jwt auth middleware where you actually decode the token and then add the request object to the user i mean user object to the request or you can actually create a jwt strategy now this guard you can attach on our test method this is the test method we have get test it is using jwt authentication guard so whenever the request is coming to the test it will always check do you have the authorization header as a bearer or not no it will send unauthorized if yes it will actually check that payload it will actually call this jwt strategy it will validate the user id based on uh, against the user database table and then if yes we will be passed so this is important we are using local strategy passport and jwt strategy and we have two different guard one is a jwt guard for the login and another is a auth guard for any protected api so it's like a complete suit we have right which is doing authentication giving us the token then we are protecting our private routes with the help of that so if we just see this how it is working we have the registration so this registration will have the some payload we can actually pass something hello at the gmail.com this is the password we are sending okay so this will create a user and once user is created we can see okay we create clicked on to this twice i think that's why let's change it to hello hello one so you have to while creating a user you need to add a check also if the same email is coming just throw a 409 status code say, saying that user already exists okay so here user is created successfully we can use the same payload for doing login i'm doing the login and login should return token and the user object this is what the user object will send us right and now if i try to access without uh, authorization header let's say then i should get unauthorized right uh, here now if i this is http get we don't need a payload so this is my header i have so i got unauthorized right so this is a protected api so based on that i need to add authorizer authorization header and it will contain bearer space your yeah, token okay now you can actually send it and yes here you will get a message hi i'm logged in as a valid user right so end to end authentication authorization with the help of uh, nestjs nestjs is using passport local strategy and jwt strategy to validate i mean validate the protected routes so this uh, whole content i mean i will be putting that in the github you can actually check the uh, check the this particular project nestjs project starter okay uh, and then we will we will create a new project from the scratch for our next set of topics okay uh, thanks everyone uh,